everybody, it's Jay Way. Happy Sunday, everybody. We're out on the boat again this weekend. Oh my goodness, if you live in Ontario, we've had some amazing weather this last, well, I'd say last month. It's been awesome. I'm just walking Charlie. Where's Charlie? Charlie, where are you, bud? Just one sec here. There's Charlie Boy. So here's the lake that I grew up on. Um, and actually, here's a little fun fact. So right here, there used to be a general store and it also had a restaurant and um charlie don't pull me down the hill <laughs> um so right here there used to be a restaurant and uh it was kind of like um you know like a snack bar and it had like 24 seats and all of the um all over there so there's a resort here there used to be a resort there there was another resort down there and now that a lot of them are timeshares now there we are in our boat there just sitting there um, but when I was uh, I guess I was 17 18 I was about to go to college and I ran that restaurant so I, um, I always think about I always think back to you really can do anything you put your mind to so I came down here and I asked the owner I said it had closed down um, in like May or June and all the staff from all the resorts used to come here for ice cream and burgers and uh, it was just sad to see it close so here let me get out of this one here and um, so I asked him I said I I'd like to lease the building and, and run it myself and he's like sure so I did I was like I said I was 18 so I can hardly see you guys um, and then um, yeah I didn't know really where to start but I went to the resort up here to the chef and I said can I get some hamburger meat and so I made my own hamburgers and I realized on this dock here um, a lot of fishermen come, would come in because this lake is really good for walleye and, and pike and, and bass and uh, our, and I worked at these resorts since I was 10 so I knew there was a lot of Americans coming here so I opened for breakfast for the fishermen and I just kind of day by day and I learned more and I just kind of you know, went through each day. I had not, I had never done it before, run a kitchen or a restaurant, and but I just did it. I hired a few girls, and I'll never forget the day. I think it was July first weekend. This boat here, this sorry, this dock here, where our boat is, that would fill up with, with boats. And I remember coming out here. Actually, I sat right here. I would sit right here. One sec. Hold on here. Come on. There we go. I used to sit right there was my view okay right here and I'd say one day one day um, I want to have a boat too and here I am <laughs> but I worked hard and I learned as I went and um, I remember the girls on July 1st weekend they said Gee, there's a problem I said well what's the problem and they said we can't close the cash register there's too much money I'm like well that's a good problem and I remember getting carpal tunnel that summer because so so much um, burger flipping and ice cream uh, scooping and things like that but what a blast um, so I would say to anybody if you have a dream and you want to try something new just do it um, you never know you know no one's an expert right away you learn as you go um, so I thought of that actually when I started this business because working online is it was foreign to me I had never done it before but I thought hey if I was a young you know 17 18 year old and I ran that restaurant uh, you know you really can't do anything you put your mind to so I would encourage you if, if there's something that you maybe haven't tried yet and you want to try do it because you'd be surprised um, I always find if you really 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 want to do something and you have a passion for it it will come because your mind is fixed on it right you're going to do anything it takes I remember um, I sent out uh, flyers I went on my bicycle and had my mom drive me I didn't have a car then and I went to every mailbox and I put in a little flyer saying you know JC's snack bars open under new management and uh, I had signs made and I knew this man that did you know cash register so I got one of those I just worked as I went and wow what a what a great experience and, and a lesson for me in my life as a young girl and um, and then I bring it forward with me in my life because you know life is short and you really can do anything you put your mind to so I'm so glad that I found this business online almost four years ago it's changed my life so here I am now on this dock that many years later with my own boat and uh, you know 
semi-retired at 51. I, I'm just beyond grateful. Um, this is a business. You are independent business owners, but we use a proven system. And it's changing people's lives. Um, if I can do it, you can do it too. I hope you guys have a great day. If you ever want to check out more, there's no obligation. Watch our free information session, uh, www.jwelive.ca. Watch it. If it's for you, it's for you. If it's not, that's okay. Thanks for following everybody. Um, I just try to share my journey here. And I'm just an everyday person that just basically, you know what? I just wanted more. And uh, life's for the taking. Life's for living. And uh, yeah, life is short, Alti. Yes, it is. It can go by in an instant, you know. And, um, you know, I'm in my fifth, early 50s now. And uh, I just uh, knew that if I didn't take action, nothing's going to happen, right? Nothing's going to change. So, yeah, and, and just just so you know, people, like, um, there are there is skepticism when people start. There is, like, a, a, a sense of fear because anything you start is new. I remember when I started this restaurant, there was fear there. I didn't know what to necessarily do, but um, even my husband was skeptical when I first started this business. <laughs> he loves it now because it's changed our lives, right? And sometimes you just got to take just watch the webinar and the rest is history so this is the this is another resort right here behind me and uh, lots of memories here lots of lots of dancing at night you know that movie uh, dirty dancing this is what this is where I got to grow up in so this was my old stomping grounds and um, I'm just really thankful I, I could get back here this year and enjoy because this weather is so nice hi hi Peter Happy Sunday, have a great day, be safe and careful. Yes, thank you, we're gonna head back. It's starting to get a little choppy. And uh, this is a different lake, so this is on the Trent Severn. And then we're gonna make back to our own lake and uh, maybe it'll be a little calmer, who knows. <laughs> Anyways, I'll give you a little quick. Um, so over there, oh thanks Ulti, Ulti Matt. Um, so this is, um, these are timeshares now, but this is a, a running resort still. And then actually the one I used to work at is down this road. And now it's it's uh, all, what do you call it, um, sold off into houses and things. But yeah, it's definitely changed. The lake's changed, but it's really good to be back amongst the pine trees in the lake. Uh, that's my happy, happy place. You enjoy your day, everybody. Take care, and we'll talk to you soon. Ciao.